don't think we um, need to spend more money, but by the way, I don't think we need to necessarily spend less either. Um, we are not getting the bang for the buck. I mean, you're exactly right, Jack. So here's what I would do. First is, we have to change the way we spend the money we have to allocate it more to in-classroom. About 60% of the spending, actually the, there's a new study com coming out that will say that 56% of all spending, only 56% goes into the classroom. The other 44% goes to administration and overhead. If you ran a business where 44% of your costs were administration and overhead, you would be out of business. So we have to push more money into the classroom. That's where the learning takes place. Then I want to push more autonomy, control, and funds to the local school districts. Um, this categorical program is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, you can't say to school districts, you get $400 for math textbooks and $300 for art supplies and $600 for soccer balls. And if they say, well, I don't need soccer balls, you say, too bad. I mean, so we've got to take all that money, put it into block grants um, on a per child or a per classroom basis. And uh, then I want to give the tools to parents to hold those schools accountable for delivering the results. Um, I want to grade every single public school A through F. I got this idea from uh, Florida. And what they said in Florida is when you told parents their child was in an F school, they went nuts. Then I want to increase the number of charter schools because charter schools do do a better job with the kids and it also provides parents choice. So if your child is in an F school, you have some place to go. And then last but not least, this comes back to getting more money in the classroom. We have to pay the better teachers more. There's no question about this. We used to get the top 10%, 50 years ago, we'd get the top 10% of women, actually, at uh, you know, the, the greatest schools in California. And my view is we, you know, we're not competitive for the very best folks in education. So that's how I'd go about solving it.